any advice you would give to someone that maybe wanted to start their own little content creation journey or any words of wisdom? No, I'd still look into some people. I'd still be looking at wise words I get from other people. I'm going to quote Harry again is don't always look at the people in your space because you share the same audience and the material gets all the same after a while. But aim for those bigger channels. Go look at those bigger channels, see what they're doing so then you know straight away off the bat, you know what you're doing. On YouTube, I found one guy called Primetime Pokemon. He'd be so into the point. He'd be like, this is Fusion Strike, 264 cards in the set. These are your secret res. This is how many it is. Like that's what my biggest thing is like, do your research on a set before you film. Mm. And that's my biggest thing is yes. like, you've got to know what Correct. you're talking about. Don't be like, I think there's this amount in here. Like do a little bit of research if you can. If you can edit well and you can edit you saying think out of everything, that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, always do your research, I'd say. Always do your research and just watch those guys how they do it you don't have to be that mold i imagine you look at what's trending because obviously when oh, yeah. you can look at these big people that have established accounts but they've established their account for a long time the trend that they hit a long time ago may not be relevant now and that's where they amass their base yep. and now they've got a good foundation to work off building that foundation the methodology and doing so is probably different now yep. it w- will be different now not maybe it will be so some people try and jump yep. on trends and just that's they, they hone in on that everyone knows trends change so quickly yep. and if you just get stuck on that it's just going like yeah. it's like a train leaving station. You just can take off and you're not on board. Like yeah. that's gone. <laughs> yeah. Like see you later. Like you're gonna struggle catching back up with it. And yeah, that's just the thing with content creation. You've got to make sure that you kind of keep up with the trends, but don't go full all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Because yeah, they go all in on it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's gonna it's gonna change very quickly, and then you're stuffed. Hey guys, welcome back to another Palms Off Gaming podcast. Um, today I'm joined by Swadzi. How are you guys? <laughs> Introduce yourself, tell people who you are, what you do. Um, yeah, give yeah. us a rundown. Uh, name's Ben, also known as Swadzi on YouTube, Instagram, uh, occasionally on TikTok. I don't really use it that often. <laughs> I don't really either. don't know how to really use the algorithm too much on there. I'm not, mm. I'm not young enough for that stuff anymore. So, mm. yeah, I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> yeah, we don't either. Like, I think we're, we're hit and miss on that as well. So, you're our not alone. Big, our biggest views actually have come from TikTok for the Magic the Gathering video that I did. Yeah, I guess that's. It's, I mean, it's geared more to so views, hard. right? Yeah. I don't know what they want. It's really, it's really hit on this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give the people what they want. What is that? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> just anything. Something. <laughs> Something. Anything. Apparently. <laughs> so we've just come back. So this is post Midnight Traders event. Yeah, um, good event. So it was cool. Yeah, uh, it was a nice little event. Uh, so we thank them for putting that together. It was it was great. Um, but we had a bunch of our affiliates down um, for for that event. So everybody got involved. So did you enjoy yourself? What did you like most about it? Yeah, um, yeah. it was a good event. Uh, Nisa saw from it, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was. That sounds really weird, actually. For, for context, <laughs> no, for, for, for context, uh, <laughs> he just had knee surgery. All right, <laughs> nothing weird about that. But yeah. um, no, it was a good event. Had a lot of fun. Met people that I've spoken to online. Yeah. I've spoken to a lot of people online and never knew who the heck they were. Mm. And I was like, it's just a name on Instagram or something like that. But no, it was good. Got to meet up with others, you know, other affiliates, other PokeTubers and whatever else I dabble in as well. Um, Motto, 6 9 you know, mm-hmm. those guys. Um, but yeah, Midnight Traders was pretty good. Um, enjoyed it. Got on stage with Jolie and opened some packs. So yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Pull anything good? Uh, I got a Chen, Chen Pao, I think you call it. Chen Pao from Powder Evolved. I need. I think Watto needed it, but then he didn't. I don't know. It's in my bag now. I'm taking it home. So right. <laughs> <Sucked into him. laughs> he's not having it. That'll go. Yeah, that's that's mine. Yeah, sick. <laughs> mine nah, now. It was a it was a really fun event. So um, was good. we we obviously got you guys involved uh, in like a little scavenger hunt challenge as well. So fifty dollars scavenger hunt. Yep. Yep, um, that, was fun. that was fun. So the uh, the 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 ruling for that. Um, did you want to run through people the ruling, Jacob? Because you're the, the creator of the event, or do you want me to summarize it? Ah, uh, you can summarize it. Cool. Uh, it was basically fifty bucks and try to impress me, me specifically. So mm. play to your audience. We had a couple of inventive gets. So we had uh, what uh, six nine tails did the DS in the unknowns from <laughs> TRA. Yep. I was like, I was like, that was a strong start. And then we had uh, yourself. You brought the, uh, the, the French Charizard. The French Charizard. Yep. Um, graded. So it was a CGA one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, we had the Pokemon Silver. And that was, that was, was from it, Prov. That was from Prov. Yeah. And was then, it just a three inch? Yeah. No, and then Watto. No, we had Watto with. Doesn't uh, matter about him. Yeah. yeah that's fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter about him. Watto <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> had his Gyarados, as you would call it. Yeah. His, yeah. Um, Gyarados, yeah. PSA five, six. I don't know. What yeah. it, was. it wasn't the biggest grade. Like more of a it still vintage looks one. It still looks sick. Vintage Gyarados. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. So, yeah, out of the box Prov one. Yeah. Yeah, you were so yeah. confident going into it too. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> you still owe me five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually. <laughs> Didn't know I was going to get the Uber five yeah. bucks away. I, <laughs> I, I, I forgot the cash till, so <laughs> Darcy had a problem. Uh, that that was funny. We get there, everything, so we feel we've got everything sorted, jump out the truck. Darcy goes, 
oh, the till. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not driving all the way back. Uh, you forget that. Every, no, everybody's coming up to pay. And I'm like, I really, I usually take cash. I'm not one of those people that does a like, card only, but I just forgot it. Yeah. yeah I've had card a card only works so much easier, but. Yeah. Uh, classic. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, I didn't carry any cash. No. Did you just quote Ellie with a classic? Uh, classic. <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> he, he, said, he said that before. <laughs> like, I think that's why they get along so well. <laughs> it's just both, both on. Oh, all the weird <laughs> Love you, Ellie, by the way. Um, but yeah, so first of all, welcome to Melbourne. Um, well, sorry to see you go, obviously. So hopefully we see you back a little bit more often. Yeah, um, Plans yep. to be coming back a little bit more often or, uh, or not really on the cards as of yet? Depends how Fremantle go in the footy season. Mm -hmm. They could come back over. They don't travel here that often to come watch any games. They've got none left in Adelaide to watch, so I could come over. I think August they're next year. Yep. Um, but yeah, obviously meeting some people now. I know that I can catch up with people in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Watto. Yeah. Um, he's going to get a new couch apparently. So yeah, I was about I'm, to I'm say, like dibs that couch. Yeah. Now um, that you come, it's like well, now you've pretty much got free accommodation. Which yeah. Is great. I've, I've yeah. seen the other one. I booked accommodation because I saw the couch. I was like, oh, now I'm all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a sore back otherwise. <laughs> sore knees and sore back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not from the same scenario. <laughs> okay. Whatever Moving helps you sleep. With a sore back and knees. <laughs> on the, on Let's the, move on before I have to cut everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the topic of water and six nine tails, apparently they've brought much joy and much. Uh, Positivity to your life. Yeah, they would pause for laughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's written there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jacob writes the questions, and um, in in here, he's just done pause for laughter. So, so yeah. he's very confident in himself. That was going to be funny. Yeah. So we probably should skip. Now, nah, um, now nah, they've they definitely bring a lot of fun to the whole space now that I've been a part of mm. um, for a while now. But yeah, no, they're they're great to get along with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're great to chat with and everything like that. And just half the stuff we talk about, you wouldn't want to be exposing it. <laughs> we talk so much crap all the time. Yeah, <laughs> um, and yeah, just make fun of each other all the time. But yeah, no, I I'm lucky to be here today because she picked me up from the airport on Friday. Mm -hmm. And that was terrifying. on time. Uh, no, no, not on time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still outside Melbourne. Uh, was at domestic airport yeah. in a t-shirt and pants in like seven degrees. Like freezing cold, <laughs> people in puffer jackets. Standing and up on his sore knee. <laughs> oh, my sore. Oh, my knee Because it was definitely sore before he came to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't sore at water. <laughs> Alfred, I left there. Nah, um, yeah, everyone's in puffer jackets and I'm there in T-shirt. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. What nah. is this? Yeah, what is this guy doing here? Like, yeah. he's definitely from interstate and, like, I'm leaving Adelaide and it's cold there, so I don't know why I didn't have a jumper. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But, yeah, 40 minutes late. <laughs> Oh, 40 soul. minutes late this, the knee as well did it it gave you grief at the at the um the event at the event too. yeah yesterday at midnight so it was giving me a little bit so it was good to go sit up on stage with Watto uh oh, not Watto he was up there with Jolie and, and cracks and packs and everything because there were seats so it's somewhere to sit mm. but I tried to get around to as many people as I could just yeah, to cool. meet people but yeah by the end of it I was done <laughs> I was yeah. like hobbling out a message midnight today I'm like great event and everything like that and I'm like but I was dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I and he's like, yeah, I could see that. And I'm like, yeah, I needed to get back to the hotel. Yeah. And then I ordered room service. <laughs> I, yeah. I wasn't leaving. I think that's the same for everybody that does an event. Like even us, we, would, we were dead. I think every, like Watto was dead. Ali yeah. was dead. Like just at the end of, the, of that long day. Watto was dead before he walked in. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> so, so was I to be fair. Yeah. I, I, I was telling everyone like I 12 day, like, you know, work days in a row because I'm obviously doing a lot of stuff outside of just palms off. So, and it's just a, a busy time. Um, and then doing a 12 hour day on a Sunday and not getting that rest day was just crazy. So I ended up sleeping through my alarm this morning, which That's is chaos. Insane. That's so, insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it's good. It's good to see, obviously, you three being so close and it's and it's good because we've had you know all three in a row on the podcast now. yeah all the wolves, yeah. So all the wolves. it's a trilogy the it's a trilogy i don't know who alpha is anymore because yeah that was ellie ellie used to refer to herself as alpha or six nine as everyone knows her but he's yeah. gonna have to cage fight for that i think so yeah. oh yeah not until i'm recovered <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean you're fight. a lot bigger it's probably the hindrance you need like yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, still, yeah. Like, yeah nah <laughs> <laughs> did you soon. did you guys film anything when you were down? You you mentioned you did film something, but it was a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we filmed we filmed two videos at Watto's house. Mm -hmm. um, Watto might have to work some magic, though, otherwise they won't see the light of day. <laughs> um, there was just some stupidity in there and all that stuff. Like, I, yeah, I'm trying to open crack packs. They're fighting behind me. Like, it is legit. Like. Father's driving a car and the kids fighting in the back. Like, I like that. It's yeah. like, come on, guys. I would love to watch that, but it's just, yeah, you have to. As I guess, <laughs> as a content creator, you're like, how do we even ask when we edit this? Like, yeah. we have to edit out portions. Just like, oh, you know, like maybe a little too on the nose or like. <laughs> I reckon you could put it on Ellie's channel. That's chaotic enough. So, yeah, we could put yeah. it on probably true. We could put it on 6 Nine's channel. 
Maybe not Wattos. <laughs> Wattos is still pretty chaotic yeah, yeah. from time to time. Watto, it, Watto can be. It, it's like. I feel like Wattos is much more like scripted chaos where uh, Ali's is like just spontaneous. <laughs> just sheer yeah. chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chaos from A to B, that's it. Yeah. 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 Wattos just make a chaos, chaotic like entrance to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd just be the whole thing and be like, whoa. Yeah. Came the, while he's riding on his Lapras or something. <laughs> yeah. They're very funny. They're very, very good. <laughs> Actually, but, speaking of Lapras, did you see his card yesterday? No. His Lapras card. No, what do you get? He got a, the creator made card. We got, we oh, all got, yeah, we yeah, all yeah. I think yeah. I saw we that. Yeah, we all got creator made cards. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll dig in my bag before I leave, and I'll show you. Them. Yeah, please. yeah. We'll just we might even get this screen for the yeah. for the camera as well. Yeah, I'll yeah. definitely grab them out of the bag because I grabbed a couple. Um, because yeah, I wanted one of myself. <laughs> who who yeah. whipped them up for you? Midnight Traders did them, and then he had oh. Pop Culture Larrikin. Yeah, that's the oh, one. Yeah. Pop Culture yeah. Larrikin made them up. So yeah, we, Midnight hit us up and asked us to like to give him some ideas and all that stuff. And then like so, we all made up our cards. There's one of Brody. Brody plays lunch. Did one, a Love trading it, card, myself, Watto, uh, Jolie, and Harry Snorlax, who's in WA. Yeah, He's cool. a gamer. Yeah. But Is there any- gamer. So, that that's sort of like a lot of people that you, I guess, would be highly associated with. Yep. Um, have you met all of them in person yet or not really? No. So, the only people I've actually met in person is now like, obviously, Jolie, Watto, um, Midnight, 6 9 Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's about, that's about it. All the others are like in Perth or um, Queensland. Yeah, cool. A little bit too expensive to get over there. I was yeah. meant to go to WA at the start of the year, but no, nah, flights were too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> That's way too expensive. You, you'll have a ball if you meet Lox. He's he's, he's, he's a blast. I yeah. love him so much. He's great. That was, yeah, that was the greatest thing. His, yeah. his video to like, I'm a pogophilia jumping on his trampoline. I still look at that today and go, yeah. That's, <laughs> the best. That's the best thing ever. You, you, we, we, showed you, him the, we showed him the one we couldn't post. Sick. Yeah, okay, cool. I, post. I didn't know if I could bring that up. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. That was the greatest thing as well. I'm like, yeah. whoa, I can see why it didn't get posted. Yeah. Did, you, did you listen to the portion of the podcast or remember where um, I told the story about how we kidnapped him and we took him to a, to a music gig? Oh, was he sent, I think he put that on Instagram that yeah. he was like in a, in a car with all yeah, these yeah. guys. Was yeah, like, yeah we, we, we met up with him. I won't spend too long on it because I did cover it on another podcast. But yeah. um, and if you haven't seen that and you want to know the story, you're going to have to go back a couple of podcasts. Which podcast I was that? That was so- Both Swansea, uh, but not Swansea's. Uh, That's me. Watto and Ali's. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I, you can I, cut that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've, listened, I've listened to Ellie's. Uh, no, I haven't. I've listened to Watto's. Yeah. But I haven't listened to Ellie's. I listened to her watching it the other night. Yeah. <laughs> so, we yeah, we kidnapped him. Took him to um, Coalfest and then yep. he was like, I, I listen to Metallica and stuff, but I don't listen to like, you know, really heavy stuff. I'm like, I'll strap in. Hey. <laughs> strap in, lad. Let's go. Like, yeah. He had a grass time. Don't say that. He had a grass time. What is that? What time did he have? Sounds like grass. Uh, absolute grass time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bloody time. And now he's super into Pale Dusk too. Yeah, he is. He awesome. loved them. He yeah. was like just jumping up and down, went nuts. Yeah. It was so great. Great band. So, Seems yeah. like he's always just jumping around then. He's just Labrador energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Labrador spec energy. Oh. It's beautiful. I think you all do. It's great. I think it's good to see. I think Lunch did that with his Christmas little delivery thing as well, where he's dressed as Santa, he's running along his street and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. imagine his neighbors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's got the same thing. dressed up as Santa, like, what the heck? Man? I'm waiting for like a compilation to come out of the, the weird shit my neighbor does. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's just his Caught on camera. Yeah. He's just, just on ACA, footage. they bring him in and it's like, <laughs> 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 Lunch, Lunch, do you have anything to say? <laughs> you should actually do a video about that. That would be funny. <laughs> no, what is the one to hit up? He will make an absolute theater out What I should do. What I do it. Yeah, we'll we might you. have to hit him up with that. Maybe, I don't know, we'll talk to Watto about it yeah. and see if that's the idea we want to float. And if we want to float it, we're going to have to cut this and then release this clip after. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, what you could be the reporter. You could go off. Yep. 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 Yeah. What I could be the cameraman. <laughs> that would be good. You fly us to Brizzy. Yeah. Right. And then uh, uh, and Ali could be Tracy Grimshaw. <laughs> <laughs> Just a scattered Grimshaw. <laughs> 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 oh, that would be the best. Could you imagine that? Yeah, it'd be very good fun. <laughs> so you've been doing it since 2022, right? Correct. But you've only recently started showing your face. Yes. So yeah. probably eight months ago, leading into the end of last year. Yeah. So now you've got all these people that are just chasing you, obviously. Yeah, 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 they know who I am. Yeah, and they're, they're just like, oh my God, he's gorgeous. So <laughs> all, all these pokey girls are chasing this man. Although, I did sign one of my creator cards yesterday. Did you? <laughs> yeah, for so client cards. Yeah. Famous, yeah. yeah, they're like, you need to sign it for us. I'm like, why? Is that the first time you've had to do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know them, but yeah, it was just weird. I was like, can you sign it? I had to go back on the stage and get a Sharpie. Because I think I came to you guys. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, do you, you have a Sharpie? Like, yeah, sharp. no. And they're like, is someone actually asking them? I'm like, Come on, guys, calm down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just backhanded us. Yeah. But I remember me and Jack got asked, we, we've been asked a couple of times, we've been like, we just, we're not 
we're not famous. We just we just run an accessory. Well, I'm flattered. Yeah, we just run an accessories company. Like yeah, it's, it's it's really cool. Like yeah. thank you, but it's just a bit confusing. But for you, obviously yourself, you're in front of a camera. You're a, more of a. I, I feel more of a personality. Yeah. So it's great. Um. So I guess it would be humbling in a weird way for you. In, in a, to it a degree, is. It's, it's it, it, it's very bizarre though. It's still coming mm. out. It's like oh, this is weird. Like I came over here just to hang out, have and yeah. meet people. Like <laughs> there was never the intention to have anything like that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was it was just weird. Yeah. <laughs> Them, the, the, them to ask me that like I, I do if I sell stuff on like eBay or stuff like that or trade stuff I'll just put a little card in there and like cool but that's about it just a little promo, self yeah. promo to see if that person because you are, you are the, the, the wolf of Wall Street of eBay I've heard <laughs> who said that <laughs> uh, number tails number tails <laughs> of course you would <laughs> she's got to slip herself in this somehow yeah. didn't she no um, yeah I, I, I do dabble on eBay a lot to sell cards and everything like that not like scalping or anything just to try and sell any doubles I've got like that anything that's playable if it's mm. not playable it just goes in a bulk box that's yeah. it. That's, that's so you sell on eBay and what I tries but I don't, I don't think think what actually owns an eBay account I don't think he knows oh, okay. how to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think what actually knows how to sell on eBay he has the whole thing that pops up like straight to eBay and it's his little slogan but I don't think he's ever done it yeah right <laughs> I don't think what actually knows how to. exposed yeah, yeah exposed here with <laughs> another news article sure. yeah. getting 6ix9ine Tracy Grimshaw get in here we're, we're going to do the lunchbox locks one right yeah. uh, and then and then after that, we're just going to make make him think that everything's over. Yeah. And then, and the then when he's in a room by himself, just bang, reverse Uno. Like, <laughs> Lunchbox comes with the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Six nines asking the question. Yeah. <laughs> At a million miles an hour. <laughs> and he's just like, what did she just ask? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> something, <laughs> something eBay? <laughs> Darcy be like, I heard it all. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately. Like yesterday, I'm like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> just a like, million words being thrown around in yeah, the Yeah, you guys had a 20 minute like, conversation in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Efficiency. <laughs> We got stuff done. <laughs> so you've also over the time uh, up um, been uploading. You've you've obviously gotten much better at a presenter as a mm. as a presenter. Do you think that's just come on naturally? Did you have to sort of research into that? Did you did you just talk to people? Like what what was the process? Yeah, I think looking into what other people were doing. I was always getting that little like, messages every now and then, like do a face cam, do a face cam, and like get that editing out there a little bit more because I used to just point and shoot. That was it. Like, that's it. Yeah. No, yeah, it's nothing. So um, like really fast and loose sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. That's like, and then there'd be pauses, and I'd be on this. Whereas now, like watching other people how they do it, like yeah, it's interesting. Like and like talking to Watto, like Watto and I, we can talk for like an hour a week just on the phone. We'll just sit and chill, and like he's someone I can bounce ideas off really well. <laughs> um, and then same with like Harry Snorlax, who's he, he is a gamer, but he's someone that can interact with people very well. And that's what I find is the more I can interact in a pre-recorded video. It's a lot better and a lot easier on me editing too. Yeah. So if I, yeah. Whereas I, there's sometimes I'll find I went through a phase where I'd be like, finish a pack, and then I'll get the pack next pack ready and be like, oh, all right, next pack. But that's just giving me the time to edit. But there's no freedom there. It's like there's no flowing of the video. It's just I look back at it and go, geez, okay, this is this is heavily edited. It's like poof, poof, nothing's really happening. Mm. Yeah, it's, I, I think Watto is a big contributor of it. Like, it's growing his head bigger, but yeah, no. <laughs> that would grow his head really big, but it's going to fall over. I, I, I think it's something he can look on and be like, yeah, no, people do listen and watch what he does. Yeah. Because um, he, he is very good at what he does. I mean, he, he comes from that background, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it, it, yeah, that's what we were impressed with. It's like so short of a time have you been here, but the impact you've made has been so great because the quality of your videos is. is so good. So yep. I think having someone, someone like that in your corner is great. Um, yep. And and just being, I think the collect uh, the the if you look, like this space for creators and you bouncing ideas and actually talking to each other and ha- having an open dialogue helps a lot as well. Yeah, it allows it not to really copy each other as well because mm. obviously you're not going to build anything if you copy each other. Correct. Um, and then obviously him dabbling out in Dragon Ball and all that as well makes it easier. I dabble out in a few other things as well. But yeah, we always have that common ground. But then yeah, we can just compare each st- stuff. Like I, know, I personally know like his his intros are always going to be amazing. Mm. <laughs> but we've also we've we've also spoke about his intros. It's like that's something he's not going to want to put in every video because he doesn't want to overkill every video because then everyone is going to expect this elaborate intro. And then if he stops doing them for a bit because it's just like this is too much chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, but then sometimes you just need that little hook to get someone in. Whereas, like mm. sometimes you don't need it. You just want to get straight into the cards. For some videos and some, you need that like little intro that he does. And, mm. Like his intros are hilarious. I love watching them. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, if you haven't checked him out already, go have a look at him. Yeah, um, well, here's me like pro- heavily yeah. promoting someone else. Yeah. But like that's and the that's obviously the go see Swads as well. Yeah. But that's your benchmark. Like yeah. I look at that and I said, we were, like when I said to him on the phone the other day, I was like, 
if anyone's excelling, it's like Watto's that next thing if he can take it there. But then obviously he's got his business. Yeah. So obviously he doesn't want to neglect his business. Mm. Um, would he hire an editor? Probably. But I don't think he could live with himself doing yeah, that as well because yeah. he'd be he'd be very nitpicky because that's his job role as well. Yeah, so. he'd be like micromanaging. He'd the be editor. like, I don't like that. Whereas it's like I think he yeah he's got the potential there. He'd probably um, be more likely to um, hire out the presenting job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, he would. But no, he, yeah, he's he's what I I lean to a lot. And same, like I said, Harry Snorlax in WA. Yeah. They're the two I mainly speak to a lot about anything just to yeah. get some ideas from something that started a hobby to something now. You, I can enjoy myself doing yeah. this. If I don't enjoy it, then I'm not. I'm yeah. not enjoying it at all. I, I like the content, the form of content you basically you three have. It's great, um, and it's not super kiddie humor either. Like yeah. it's it's great. Like because you can relate as an adult. Like a lot of the collectors in the scene are adults, right? Yep. So and the, and they're the ones who spend. And, and in your instance, it's not necessarily a big thing, but like. Your target audience, I feel, is just better um, yeah. you, for your purpose and you're going to want to present it more and, and be more passionate about it if you can just be a little bit more of yourself. And, yes, unfortunately, that just is more applicable to a bit more of a mature audience. Yeah. you got, um, you got those people out there. you got those ones that obviously go aim for the kids and everything. Mm. They've got to get the kid audience in and everything like that. But that is, I think that's burnt out. That, that avenue's burnt out. There's so many out there. There's so many really big guys out there that do that all the time. Yeah. Mm. And it's just like, well, you've got, to, you've got to be different to them now. Yeah. Um, and that was the big thing. We have our little wolves chat, as we call it. <laughs> 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 just yeah. myself, Ellie, and Watto, and we would just be talking in there. And it's like after, like, I think the first week we were talking to each other as, like, mates, they're just like, you speak completely different in chats than you do on your YouTube. And that was because I was always a firm believer, like, no, you've got to be this this model. That's it. That's all you can do. You've got to go down that avenue mm -hmm. and that's all you can do. It's like, you've got to be like, oh, wow, an energy card. No, it's an energy card. Like, <laughs> yeah. let's let's put a twist on this. Let's let's make something more out of something that's not there and like actually take the piss when yeah. you can. Like, yeah. You don't need to be serious 24-7 on a YouTube channel. Um, no. And I find that. And I did, yeah, I did have some one and some dad approach me once. Um, apologies, I can't remember his name at all. But he approached me once and his kid was keen on watching YouTube. He watches Unlisted Leaf and all that. And I was like, come watch this real South Australian. I'll do it now. <laughs> and, his, and his kid watches. Yeah. But I've told him, like, if I do gaming, don't get, it, don't let your kid watch my gaming. Yeah. Like, just like, because it's later at night, it's going to be a lot more looser content there. Like, I'm not going to be g-rated in that some and of the live streaming it too which is a different yeah live streaming is a yeah. lot different to pre-records you can kind of like cut out if you get a little bit loose exactly right yeah um except they going back to what Watto and six nine and i <laughs> recorded the other night we don't know where that's going to go it may yeah. see the light of day it may not i i, I imagine that video just have like a clip for about 30 seconds and then just a full black screen with censored for maybe like <laughs> I don't know, sixty percent of it, and then just packs being opened, and then, but just muted. And then, <laughs> and then thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we all just put it on our channels all at the same time and see what happens. Yeah, just, pretty good. Just yeah. see who watches what and be like, you guys all just did the same video. Like, yep, we did it together. <laughs> we couldn't decide who wanted to drop it, so we all did it. Like, maybe you guys can drop it for us. <sighs> could Content be <laughs> could be risky. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> could be a little bit risky. It's like I hope it. they watched all of it because there's just a couple of snippets in between. They just slotted in like. A frame of something. It's just something <laughs> random. Yeah. We don't even have us just opening. Quick flash and gone. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Different audio, everything. Yeah. Voiceovers. Oh. <laughs> Mouths are moving and we're saying something different over the voiceover. I think the, I think the, the trilogy that these guys have got is great. Like there's just, there's Ellie's just got the chaotic humor. Yeah. Um, meme chaotic humor. Oh. Um, you know. Loves it. Yeah. And when what I was just, oh, I, I just guess more formal, not formal chaotic, but structured chaotic. Yeah. 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 Where would you slot yourself in there as well? Well, how would you define Definitely. yourself? Well, I could be a bit of anything, really. I can be I can be formal if I had to be, but I got a I got a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mullet at the end of the day, so like I can't really be that formal. It's not as filthy as it used to. I be. I mean, yeah, you are presenting from the front, so you have business at the front. Right? <laughs> business at the front, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Used to be like that though. I used yeah. to have a chopper moustache and everything. Sick. <laughs> I, I legit for one thing we did at our footy club. I dressed up as um, what's his name, Ivan Milat. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, they dear. said dress up as a 90s character and I was like, oh, and they're like, he wasn't in the 90s. I'm like, well, he did his jobs in the 90s. When like, he gets yeah. famous, you know how like when the when the the royals go in and they were dressed up as like in these really yeah. questionable yeah. Halloween yeah. outfits. Oh, no, that's going to that's gonna come, Elio, that's gonna come back to you. 6 already has it. 6 9 has the photo. If you ever see me in like a checkered, um, what do you call them, those 
What are those like flannelettes? Flannelettes, yeah. That's that's the photo. Yeah, I've got like an accrued. I think you're gonna be absolutely just shunned now that you have a mullet and didn't know what a flannelette was. I knew what it was. I just lost words. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just lost for words out here. <laughs> I'm just speaking all day. You know. <laughs> well, that's we'll sp- we'll speak a little bit less. We'll open some packs. Uh, uh, I'm, it's to my knowledge that you're temporal forces. At the moment. Yeah, was yeah. I've been it? doing a lot of temporal yeah, forces beautiful. recently. So um, you usually we would work. randomly select out of here, but because because uh, because you're collecting temporal forces, we're just gonna we're just gonna. Give the temporal forces yeah, packs. There the you go. I couldn't tell you any of these Pokemon names, but they're the new ones. That's that's Giraffe Neck Raikou, whatever it's called. You did my boy dirty. Like. <laughs> Same with like Walking Wake or whatever it's called. Yeah. You're like, what the heck is this? Yeah. Thing? I guess that's hard. Like if you've got like a nostalgic connection to a, a particular Pokemon, like just changing it, I think it's very hard to to just yeah. nail it. And there's always going to be someone that doesn't like it. I've, yeah. been, I've been watching yeah, some of the other guys just open booster boxes after booster boxes after booster boxes of this and they're like close to a like close to a completed set and I'm like yeah I've opened one and that was when I was on the couch after my surgery mm. <laughs> but like there's a lot sometimes I open just off camera nowadays yeah yeah, yeah that's daughter. good just that, with my daughter yeah. it's just easier yeah how's uh, your daughter now she's gonna be three in two weeks cute so she'll yeah, be yeah. three in two weeks but yeah it was the other night I came, just before I came here I was just like yep yeah, you didn't know we're open up at FDB of the newest set so we did that um, but I do the little – she can open them pretty well because she's seen me open them enough. Mm. Um, she can open them pretty well, but I do the little check in there quickly. All right, you can open that one. That's cool. You can open that one <laughs> just in case there's something good in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, ah, oh, so excited. She crushes it. Yeah, right in there, yeah, yeah. And it's like her favourite are Pikachu and LeChonk. LeChonk's my favourite. LeChonk's sure. pretty sick. LeChonk is the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snob's also pretty cool. <laughs> it's questionable. <Yeah. laughs> it's a questionable looking Pokemon. Mm. I, I think it's important that, um, yeah, you are – still enjoying it in your downtime as well. And particularly with, yeah. you know, your kids. I feel like a lot of our age bracket. How old are you now? If you don't want me, uh, 29. I'll be 30 at the end of the year. What do you want? Oh, uh, yeah. December. Okay. I'm October. I'm the same. 30 oh, this year in October. So, all good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting old and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I think we're that age bracket where we're having kids, right? Yeah. And they're at that age where they can enjoy cards and it's just a bonding thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if you... Oh, these don't really have card tricks. Oh, I have something. Yeah. I, don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm on here. Yeah, I can see here. Free code for someone. Oh, yeah. Free code for those playing at home. Sorry if I'm going to ruin you here. Roll. Innocent. Lycan Rock. So oh, no, I've double pulled here. Bronze on. Turtwig. Melton. Rollicanth. I win. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I've got the worst luck with uh, with Pokemon, but any magic, I'm just criminally good. Like, I've, just, I've seen I've a lot of magic blessed. open, and I still just don't have an idea what the heck is going on. I'm just, I just open the Lord of the Rings IP because I'm a big sucker that for that. That looks sick. Yeah. Um, do you play the games as well? I do. Yeah? Um, in t- TCG tournaments. I played with mates actual, like, just mucking around, but I played in pre-releases mainly. Oh, cool. Do you so, play like the video games as well or no? Uh, yeah. So I've been playing Scarlet Violet on Switch. I do yep. have Legends of Arceus, Arceus, however people want to pronounce it these days. Um, I do have that. But yep. um, yeah, no, I've, I've mainly been playing in the online as well. So you can play it online. Yep. It's a lot easier because it prompts you to do things. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's always helpful. Yeah. It's, a, it's almost like it's too easy sometimes when they do that. <laughs> uh, where they prompt you, it's like, your turn. And it's like, <laughs> it's yeah. just too hard. It helped us with uh, Dragon Ball quite a bit. Like yeah. learning how to play. That's cool. I like the little- the Screen little, tail? Yeah. Oh, the, the Just the how they've done it. Like, it. Yeah. When they're a hollow, they even look sicker like as well. I don't know. Do you remember the old ancient trade cards? I don't. From really like Primal all. Clash and stuff? No. no. I, came, I came back ah, into the hobby. sick. Of, oh, Bang. Sick. Ace nice, trainer. Nice little ice spec. Yeah, they're sick. sick. I love it. I do like those when now they've brought them in. And then I've got to wear my cargo. I like the purple. The, big, the, big ice, fan. the ice specs look really sick now that they're doing that. Yeah. Because um, they were an old thing back in the day as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like how they're starting to bring some stuff back, like the EXs and all that stuff. Yeah. Scarlet and Violet, maybe not doing it justice as, justice as much, but mm. doing something for it. Um, I mean, they've hit over a thousand Pokemon now. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. We need a binder big enough for it. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Now, my wife's got four different binders for She's just got like one art. Of, or originally, it was meant to be one art of every Pokemon. And then it's like, oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. And it's like three different Charmanders now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's like, now you've got four. There we go. Look at it. There, there it is. You've got the exact same card. Sick, yeah. <laughs> like, My prayers have been heard. Oh. oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. What's that? A full art. Yeah. We've got a full art of Giraffe Neck. <laughs> Raikou. I reckon you've taken the cake. I think I, think I may you've have. just taken the cake. I, I don't think I would have won with that. 
I don't think I would have won just with that. No, 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 definitely not. You didn't but that was that. coming through. The, I got that in a gold the other day at Luna. Yeah. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. So I got that gold one in Luna the other day. They should have cool. I don't know, don't know why they kind of ruined those Pokemon. It's kind of like, yeah. why? Why yeah, did they do that? They were so, they were so <laughs> perfect before. Yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't need changing, did it? It did not need changing. I, 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 I don't know if you're aware. You, I collect the legendary dogs or yeah. cats, whatever you want to call. Them. No dogs. Um, I'd say dogs as well. Questionable. But yeah, like I was. Yeah, mixed mixed emotions. Yeah. I like dinosaurs. I like that little kid, <laughs> that little to- yeah. little toddler. Like oh, I like dinosaurs. <laughs> that was me the growing best. up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like tubs of like plastic dinosaurs. <laughs> Go with dinosaurs. Um, yeah, it's sick. I've got a Velociraptor tattooed on my um my calf that is like a Hawaiian themed Velociraptor. It's like in like a, a frame, That's sick, all the yeah. colors and stuff, and he's just happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's the, yeah. the only tattoo that um. Or oh, no, I've got a few that my titles are just like, I just want to do a dinosaur. But yeah, he came up to me, he's just like, I just want to do a dinosaur. I'm like, yeah, I used to like dinosaurs. Fuck it. What do you, what do you, where do you want yeah, to put it? He's just yeah, like, let's go. Oh, this is the design. I'm like, that's sick. He's yeah. like, right there. I'm like, done. Lock it in. Yeah. That, that'd um, be easy. And it was, yeah, it's probably one of my favorites. I, um, I was kind of holding out hope for Midnight's yesterday that there was going to be a tattooist there. <sighs> but unfortunately, the tattooist couldn't make it this year. I was like, oh. who's supposed to go? Do you know? Who uh, I'm not sure who it was meant to be. Um, they had some family stuff gone, but yeah, I was just like, oh, holding out for it. I'm like, I'll get a lechonk. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Let's go get a lechonk. That'll be sick as. But yeah, it wasn't there. Just get lechonk written and um, curve the script across the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> right across the forehead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Will you guys still allow me to be an affiliate then? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think you'll move up the ranks. Yeah, like, <laughs> pay you to do it. <laughs> oh. I think that, that'd be the biggest W. I think you would be there. I think you'd I be, think the, be alpha. I think you'd then. be the alpha by then. Yeah. yeah. It would almost just. I wouldn't even need a crown. No, I mean, that would be. Your I, crown. I wouldn't need the top hat, I should say, not the crown, the top hat. <laughs> the fedora. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could say it's my crown, Zenith. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's- oh, the only person who's going to love that is Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You should have been on camera at the same time you said that. I'm going to be drinking the non drinkable water. I want to I wanna get. Uh, mm. Jacob, a, a cam, like a face cam. I think, I think we're, uh, we need to start, we need to sort that out. For yeah. Jacob. A full, I mean, a full we, facial of Jacob. And then we can get two, two cameras for the close ins. So I'm not chopping up the one camera. All right. Now I'm not made of money, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, sit yeah, sit down, Now you're pushing it. One, would, one or the other. You that's wanna, what I would do first. Oh, like, right, I right, think right, you right. could get away with that. We just I would to, like to have, I would like to have a vote. Sorry to cut you off. I think, no. I think everybody should vote. It's either yeah. another camera for each of our faces or, or a camera for Jacob's face. Or we get all three and cut Ellie out. <laughs> <laughs> Pause for laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut six, nine out. Like, yeah. That would make the budget a lot better. I do have a question for you. Would you consider putting a deck together and doing store play? Me? Yeah, for Pokemon. Yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah. if I had enough around me, I could definitely put one together. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Don't make, me, don't make me look through your bulk. Thoughts and ideas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thoughts and ideas. De- deck play, yeah, building decks is fun. I'm a I'm a weirdo for sorting bulk as well. I was doing it last night. Do you want to do ours? We've got heaps. <laughs> I, I did it. I did it for a, a business once before where I t- send my bulk comp- where I send my bulk to, and they're like, "Do you want to do ours?" I'm like, "Sure thing." I was dead by the end of it because it's like they had like ten thousand cards, and yeah. it needed a bit. Lucky enough, it only had to be in energy orders. Some places oh, would oh, take yeah. bulk; they want it in set and order. number order. Oh, okay, and I'm like, insane. "Whoa, yeah, no yeah. way!" Whereas now this one this is the energies, but yeah, no, I was up to. About one o'clock this morning, making sure I had everything ready to pack, but I was sorting all the bulk and everything I needed for sets. Yeah, and just sleeving them up with yeah. palms off sleeves. I've got, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I've got zero patience when it comes to sorting things. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's just gonna be a thing for me. Yeah. Um, so I, I hate it. Yeah, it's just not not a thing I enjoy. Do we need palms off sleeves for anything? Uh, we did get some hits. We did we get, get some hits. hits. Yeah, um, flick them over. But if we don't, these are a hot commodity at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I tried to f- try to find some yesterday. Yeah. Right. Hot commodity. We're getting more. Um, they'll be out before this podcast comes out. But these are definitely better than the last ones. I read. Jesse was trying to sell like ten dollars a piece. That's crazy. <laughs> he found out. You like guys- to us, to us. He's like, oh, I sell them. I got them. Yeah, he's he, got them. I, I bought them from Jesse yesterday. Yeah. and he's like, wait, they didn't bring any. I'm like, no. He's like, mark them up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like mark them up, and I'm like. Can I buy mine first? <laughs> um, but so yeah, you- that was three hundred cards I sleeved last night to go into master sets. So that's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fun. Yeah, um, but sometimes it's easier when you can just get them on the side and not have to pay too much money to get bulk. So sometimes mm. it's easy just to get bulk yeah, and then okay. sort through it. And you, you can sometimes end up with a bunch of crap and you have to get rid of that. But if you can get a good amount out of it instead of cracking packs, it's easier. I like buying bulk lots from particularly, I'm, I'm a big fan of Japanese cards. So yep. I'm, back in the day, we used to buy like a lot of 
bulk lots from Japan and just import them in. And I found some awesome stuff on that. Um, yeah. Again, I've covered this on the podcast with people um, not watching. Back in the day, it was a $700 lot and I had like three, I don't know. It, there's probably going to be some inconsistencies in my <laughs> stories because it was so long ago. There was a few base zards. I don't know if it was two or three. Yep. Um, again, there was like the more than two base blast oysters from, from Japan. Yep. Venusaur as well. Venusaur graded a nine out of a bulk lot. It wasn't even sleeved. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And the blast oyster got a 10. No, nah, Charizard got a nine, and I think there was another Zard that I, I think I got it signed by a reader recently. Actually, it was really yeah. off center, so I got it signed and then just autoed. Because they, um, they came here, didn't they? Arita, yeah, Arita came yeah. for the last year, and then, then yeah. yeah, everyone. I remember everyone lining up to get yeah. them to like them to sign their cards. Yeah, I think he did some posters as well or something like that. Yeah, as well, yeah, I got drawing. heaps. Yeah, yeah. I saw people there. Did you see what I got for my Venusaur? Well, 10, grade 10 yeah. for the actual cart and then grade 10 for the SIG. Yeah, yeah. That's D- it. Dual 10. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was perfect. Very good day. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. How did so, someone yeah. grade a signature? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you like, grade a signature? Like, oh, I think it's got something to do with like the penmanship. You know, sometimes uh, like they're in a big rush. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. And then like if it's smudged or if there's any scratches or, or smudging. Like made a little mistake or something. That's why like when that. everybody picks up the cut and they just hold it like this for like an hour so <laughs> dry, it dries otherwise dry, dry, you put it in a sleeve and you're just, you're just like oh, <laughs> it's much better sleeve yeah. it's even better now yeah so no I've I got a uh, I got a couple of dual tens as yeah. well I think if he ever comes back to Australia get one of those new Bloomborough magic cards that he did that yeah he yeah true yep. yeah yeah I, I'm very doubtful but we'll, we'll oh, you know, be we cool can though. keep my fingers crossed yeah so Jacob cool. are you sponsored by Country Road by any chance um <laughs> I got it for my birthday. <laughs> he's, just try, he's trying to. He's trying to get a sponsor. I've just looked at it. I don't even know it's the hat yeah. I'm like, what I got it for my stuff? birthday. I'm like, I don't I don't buy stuff. I don't buy nice stuff. And I'm like, um, I got given it as a present. I'm like, oh, thanks. I feel like, I feel like I've listened and what oh, not watched, but listened to enough podcasts that we need to get Jake involved a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. So. That's why I'm <laughs> like, we need to get the face like, cam. I, I yeah. can see a lot sometimes and just pick up one thing. I'm like, Country Road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's sponsored yeah. over here. I'm going to tell you to change his nickname on uh, my, my Facebook message. Country, country Road. road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, good <laughs> uh, So what's the what's the plan from here? What videos are coming up? What would, what are we doing? Any collabs we should be looking out for? Uh, I don't think I've got any, like, unless unless the, yeah, the ones with Ellie um, and Watto get out there, like mm-hmm. the 6 9 and Watto get out there, that, that's probably the only collab at the moment I've got in the works. Um, I don't think of anything else, like with creators, I should say. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't planned super far ahead. Like mm. my idea was I was going to buy some mystery packs because I like opening mystery packs. I was going to buy some yesterday at midnights and have three, four weeks worth of content ready to go because I could open mystery packs. I didn't do that. <laughs> I you you should. You got a good you got good hits at midnight, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But I, but I, but I opened them on stream with Joel because <laughs> I didn't have any self-control and actually wait till I got back. Mm. And then I was on the phone to Watto last night and I was ripping packs while on the phone with <laughs> Like an absolute degenerate. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm just opening Powdown now. Hit. If I get something good, let me know if you need it and I'll just give it to you. Like, Because we've been just exchanging stuff um, to help each other with our binders. Mm. <laughs> yes. well, you're big on uh, master setting, right? Uh, big issue on master setting. I did go through a stage to help um, fund the Melbourne experience, I should say, coming over here. So I got rid of a couple of the, my recent master sets. But I try and go through them, like I said, with bulk and all that. I try and get them as cheap as possible. Yeah. Like Twilight Masquerade came out, what, Friday 24th, May, mm-hmm. whatever it was. I calculated last night after sorting all, everything out, I'm like 67% complete of the set and I reckon I've spent $100 on the set. That's good. That's, oh. an, that's an ETB yeah. and a three pack. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. <laughs> Any like big hits in there or not really? Uh, there was a couple of big hits, not nothing of the bigger hitters. But yeah. then I can look at it and go, I'm not one that's going to chase the cards right away to try and get the big hits because yeah. it, all the trends show on Scarlet Violet sets, give it to the next set or the one bang. after that, they just dive. Yeah. That's like everything. Down. Like I even mean, with, you know, Dragon Ball, like it comes out and everything is like 3X. And it, it's just like, oh, I'll, just, I'll just wait. I'll just wait like a month and then it just bottoms out. It's cool. I'll buy it now. Yep. yep. It's the same as Scarlet Violet base set when the Miriam came out and everyone like the Japanese Miriam. Yeah, everyone went crazy. nuts. Yeah. yeah. And like what I pulled on yesterday- and it's like cool. in Japanese? Uh no, no, English. Yeah. And it's just like cool. And it's like everyone's like, oh, that's a sick card. And I was like, yeah, but that's like 30, 40 bucks now. That yeah. thing was selling for like 150 when it first came out over here. It's like, it's insane how much I the price is. I remember dropped. the trend for that. That was crazy because everything just went off in Japan um or uh, overnight. Yeah. Like overnight it went off. Yeah. Um, and yeah, everyone was just 
it's crazy. It's just, it's yeah. like, pa- it's pandemonium. Oh, like, so it's, <laughs> it's actually, in, yeah, it's just, it, it is insane how everything goes there. But Japanese sets have dropped crazy now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I might actually be able to open 151 Japanese on the, the channel because I've just always stood clear of it because I'm like, nah. But I know enough of the Pokemon in there. Like, I can open up like, the newest Japanese sets and I'll just be making up names yeah. for Pokemon. I'll be like, this is what this is called. Funky Monkey. And I'm like, I don't know what it's called, really. But, <laughs> um, but no, it's just like, yeah. I think there's there's not a huge amount planned for the channel. I, I won't be opening a lot of Twilight Masquerade on the channel because okay. I look at it nowadays, everyone else floods it. The Americans get it like two weeks before we do. Mm. So it's insane. Like, by the time it gets here, everyone's over it. No one wants to watch it. So when I got my ETB, yeah, I'll happily open it with my daughter. I don't care. <laughs> That's yeah. fine for me. But people will be like flooding booster boxes. Release day, people do a case of it. And it's like, no one's going to watch it. Like when mine comes out on a Wednesday. Mm. So I look at it and go, I think, I think I've got something getting delivered Monday from Pokey World Australia, I believe it is, mm-hmm. from Uga. Um, what yep. I've just done a video on it. Um, I've got a Charizard box coming. So cool. Would have been good just to pick it up while I was here, but <laughs> unfortunately, Uga, Uga wasn't at uh, midnights. He, he had something on, so I was like, but I saw that when I array, arrived here on Friday, it's like, it's been shipped. I'm like, yes. So I should, ha- I should have some shipping and I should have some English 151 coming. Yeah, I picked right. up from Big W, cheap, because nice. they've got a small little restock of 151 English. Mm-hmm. Um, don't know how they get it. No one else does. Um, not even banter are selling it, so. It's very yeah, bizarre right. that Big W yeah. have a little small shipment of it, um, but that was 79 Are they bucks. American held company? Uh, they're West Farmers. They're American held, aren't they? I uh, don't know. I, don't, don't I thought West are. Farmers was American held. Not sure. Let me have a look. Let's just say I want to fact check this. Does everybody Funny. like business chat on- uh- Business chat <laughs> with Darcy. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking Google. about buying Roth RAs. <laughs> <laughs> It's just looks it's an there. Australian listed company. Yeah, yeah. But now you're going to get so, you're going to flooded with adverts yeah. now. Ew. <laughs> you're going to get ad- yeah. shares. Someone they're going to be trying to sell you shares now in West Farmers. You're oh, like, yeah, oh if no, we no. keep talking, if we keep talking finance stuff, maybe we'll get like, no. like the, those good ads. No, I was up when we were upstairs before talking about my Uber drives. Like when I've been getting around Melbourne since I've been here. Two minutes later, notification from Uber: twenty bucks off your groceries. I'm like, of course you've been listening to me. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah, it, I think it'd be. I don't know. I to, I'm gonna have to dig into that. My, it, my business brain is gonna dig into that. Well, but yeah. you, do you at, like in the US, people can walk into the stores in the US and buy one five one. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. We yeah. can't find it. Here We've only got one distributor over him. So, but it's, but that, that went crazy in value. That yeah. was that was nuts. I started yeah. I started collecting it. I'm like, and I looked on the other side. I'm like, no, nah, there's money in this. So I put all my reverses, all my bulk reverses, everything on eBay. That, some reverse holos were selling for five bucks, seven That's nuts. bucks each. Yeah, for reverse holo. Like yeah. a reverse holo, usually you'll get a dollar, two dollars, if that. Yeah. Mm. If it's a popular trainer, it'd be a little bit more, but like they were like seven dollars. They were yeah, going nice. insane. So it was like, I would be sitting there and all my, my phone would just go nuts yeah. from eBay notifications with someone would buy 26 cards. And I was like, "This is this is sick. I don't mind it." eBay take their thirty percent fee. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 big as well. It is a massive fee, but kind of you kind of it's in front of so many. But who else so are you going to sell to? Yeah, exactly. It's very very correct. Um, yeah. So before we wrap it up, I guess like, um, is is there anything you would recommend or any advice you would give to someone that maybe wanted to start their own little content creation journey or any words I'd of wisdom? Still, no, I'd still look into some people. I'd still be looking at. I, I, wise words I get from other people, especially um, going to quote Harry again, is always don't don't always look at the people in your space because if you share the same audience, it gets watered down. The material gets all the same after a while if you share the same audience. But also the same as don't go out and like, like aim for those bigger channels. Go look at those bigger channels, see what they're doing, so then you know straight away off the bat you know what you're doing. Go watch Watto. <laughs> like I know he's at small numbers at the moment, but he got big numbers. But go watch those the big am- channels. The amount that he grew in a short amount of time is 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 it's yeah crazy. Yeah. Um, but like I I learned mine. Like everyone goes on about like they learn from Rev and Leon Hart. Like I never I never started off watching those guys. I I bef- I do like watching Leon Hart. I was watching one last night, um, and I do like I don't mind watching Real Breaking Nate. But th- my start off was watching on Facebook. I watched a guy called Redline who was on Facebook. Um, and he would just do opening packs and everything like that. And I used to be like, why are you on, not on YouTube? And it's like, apparently you just didn't have the connection on there. So, But then on YouTube, I found one guy called Primetime Pokemon. My wife hated that. <laughs> but I learned a lot from that guy because, and you probably could go look at my first video because he'd be like, hey, YouTube, Primetime Pokemon here. And I'd be like, and that's exactly how it'd be. But my wife would hear that every time. It would just always be like, hey, YouTube. And she's like, oh, not again. And But like, he'd be, he'd be so into the point. So like, I find that, 
he'd be like, this is Fusion Strike, 264 cards in a the set. These are your secret rares. This is how many it is. Like, that's what my biggest thing is like. I found like, no, do you know, do your research on a set before you film? Mm. And that's my biggest thing is yes. like, you've got to know what Correct. you're talking about. Don't be like, I think there's this amount in here. Like, do a little bit of research. It's, yeah. If you can, if you can edit well and you can edit you saying think out of everything, that's cool. Yeah. But it's, yeah, you do your research on it because there's people like that who do their research and can make a successful video. Yeah. Not a lot of people may not know Prime Dime Pokemon. I think he's still got like 700,000 subscribers now. Back when I was watching him, he had 120,000. So he's got grown a long way, but he did a few lives and I used to sit in his lives and we'd chat and he had a daughter who was born around the same time as mine. And we actually got to a point that we were going to start connecting, like do like little pen pals between our daughters. Mm. Um, and then he stopped doing lives. So kind of like that just dropped off because I didn't, and there was no other way to talk to him. He didn't have Instagram. Oh, right. Okay. So yeah. I think he was a Twitter. I think he had Twitter, but I never got a response back on Twitter because yeah, right. the, the Twitter name I was using at the time wasn't the same as what I was talking to him on YouTube. So right. Yeah. It kind of obviously could have been lost in translation there. Yeah. Um, but there you go. That's, that's old channel news. <laughs> yeah. That's the old channel news. You know, you know, they'll watch this and then they'll reach out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. never know. From time might go out there. You yeah. never know. He, yeah. yeah. Interesting fella. Let's just say that. But yeah, always do your research, I'd say. Always do your research and just watch those guys, how they do it. You don't have to be that mold. Mm. You don't have to be I that mean, you mold. look at the, I, I, you know, I'm very not a content creator, obviously. Jacob's our content creator. He edits everything and tees yep. all this sort of stuff up. I, I obviously do not. But you look at, I imagine you'd look at what's trending because obviously when oh, yeah. these, you can look at these big, big people that have established accounts, but they've established their account for a long time. The trend that they hit, a long time ago may not be relevant now and that's where they amass their their base yep. and now they've got a good foundation to work off building that foundation the method methodology and doing so is probably different now yep. it will be different now not maybe it will be so some people try and jump yep. on trends and just that's they, they hone in on that mm. but you would know everyone knows trends change so quickly yep. and if you just get stuck on that it's just gonna, like yep. it's like a train leaving a station it's going to take off and you're not on board like yep. that's gone <laughs> yeah like you see you later like you're going to struggle catching back up with it um mm. And yeah, that's just the thing with content creation. You've got to make sure that you kind of keep up with the trends, but don't go full all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, because yeah, they go all in on it. Yeah, yeah, because it's gonna it's gonna change very quickly, and then you get stuffed. Yeah, stuff from day one. <laughs> yeah, no, um, it's good, some good advice. Yeah, it, it is. Like. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, anything you would like to wrap up with? Pl plug yourself. Make sure you shamelessly plug yourself. <laughs> I'll plug myself. Um, yeah. So Swazi on YouTube, guys. If you guys need any palms off needs, what I ten at checkout, guys. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he, plug, he plugged me with yeah, that one. So I'm getting back yeah, with that one. The reference. <laughs> yeah, checking yeah. out with that one. What I ten. Um, but no, no. we're gonna cut that out and be like, use the link. You lose. Use the link, link. in the description. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not the code. <laughs> use the link in the description, but also use what I ten. Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> um, but nah, Instagram, Instagram. What else did I say? YouTube, Swadzi. It's on both of those. If you need anything on um, eBay, it is Swadzi underscore YT. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't go to Watto because he doesn't have doesn't have an eBay store. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm I've, I'm always open to having a chat with anyone as long as it's not doesn't get weird. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm always open to having a chat with anyone on my Instagram. But yeah, as soon as it gets weird, you know, you know, I find it weird because I stop replying. <laughs> just, oh, I either no. stop replying or I, I just start reacting to your messages. There is definitely it. a story there. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely Maybe this part story two, that I can feel know, it. Yeah, yeah. There's, def there's definitely sometimes you just look kind of like you got to get leave, got to leave those conversations. Yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah, it's just weird weirdness. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just strange. Okay, that's there's that's, no other way to put it. <laughs> there's just there's just weirdness. Yeah. <laughs> no, fantastic. Um, well, thank you for coming on board. Like, thanks and thanks for me. coming down and like getting involved with everybody. As no. you know, you planned on doing so, but um, that was a great event. We had we yeah, had definitely. fun. We've had a, it was a pleasure meeting you uh, in person and, and having you here. Um, so shamelessly plug ourselves. Uh, <laughs> Palmsoftgaming.com.au for any uh, trading card related needs. Um, or obviously, if you get your local game store and they do stock our uh, product, just please buy it from them. Um, we Quite much what ten were you there? <laughs> who, is this, who is this Watto guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they start getting you up about it. Like, yeah. Why does everyone come in so It's Watto just like, guy? it's just verbal guerrilla marketing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make him huge. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to love this. He's, yeah. It's been nonstop, like, actually praising the guy because yeah. he is a good guy. So it's like, he deserves it all. But, like, yeah. Oh, he, he got me with it. So I had to get him back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Um, and if you're listening on Spotify or any of our uh, pod podcasting platforms, um, yeah, thanks for listening. See, See you around. Cheers. Thanks, thanks man. Oh, I appreciate it. It's good.